this was her story. Hey, look. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? What a strange bright light. Yeah, I see also. It is coming from the green bamboo. Yes, yes. You wait there. I'm going to get closer and investigate why the bamboo is growing. Grandpa saw a newborn baby go inside the bamboo and brought the baby to Grandma. Oh, oh did a little baby girl. Sweetie, where are your parents? You look so adorable. Let us name her Princess Kaoya. Princess because I believe the baby is of noble birth and Kaoya means shining because she was glowing when we found her. Wow, it's a beautiful name. Let us raise her our daughter because we don't have a children and we don't know who her parents are. Every time Ganpa cut bamboos, he found a small piece of gold. So Ganpa and Grandma become so rich. Gold! Just two months, Kanguya grew up from a trump side into a normal side and became the most beautiful woman. But because of her beauty, Grandpa and Grandma worry about her safety, so they needed to hide Kanguya from outsiders. Hmm. Let us stop cutting the bamboo, so nobody may know about Kanguya. I believe when men see her unusual beauty, they will kidnap her. Oh, I think it's a really wise idea. Let us also stop staring to bamboos. Reality leash. I'll do not get up, go. You far from the bamboo. You cut. I believe do not get up, go. Give from the gods. However, no secret can be forever. Many men admire her beauty and come to marry her. Five princes ask grandpa and grandma to marry Kanguya. Kanguya asked each pin to find a treasure. I will marry any man who can bring something to me. Whatever you want, I will find it. So, what do you want? I want five treasures that are so precious but difficult to find. Anyone who can bring one of them to me will become my husband. What do you want? You. I want you to bring me the stone arms bow of Buddha. Can you find it to me? Just bring it to you and will you marry me, right? Of course, just bring it to me. You. I want you a branch from Hero Island. Can you find it to me? Whatever you want, I can find it. You. I want fire red coat. Can you find it to me? I can find everything that you want. You. I want color gems from a dragon's neck. Can you find it to me? Yes, I can bring it to you. What about me? What do you want for me? And for you. I want you to bring me some shellfish for my swallow. Can you find it to me? Swallow? It is not that hard at all. So, I wish all of you have a good luck. After many weeks, only two princes came back. Kaoya, the noblemen have arrived and they are ready to present their treasure. Okay, show them in. Let me present to you, Kanguya, what you request, Buddha stone arms bow. Will you marry me now? But Kanguya discovered that the bow is a fake, it does grow with holy light. You tricked me. This is not Buddha stone arms bow. I will not marry you. And she sent the first prince home. 
Where I present to you the Jibu Blanche from Hilo Island. Unknown to Kangya, the brand is so a fake. It's created by the master jeweler before Kangya cannot get to marry the second prince. A messenger of the jeweler who created the fake jeweler band allowed to correct payment. Stop! This is not the real jewel band from Hilo Islands. It's a fake. It's crafted by my master, and my master sent me to collect the payment. No, Kangya, he's lying. Trust me, Kangya. No. Kangya, the third woman cannot come. He sent a letter stating that was he was deceived by a merchant from China who sold him a rope that burns when tested with fire. As a result, he got burned in his body, so he cannot come. The fourth nobleman, on the other hand, uh, set out to find a dragon at sea, but he abandoned his search after encountering a heavy storm. So he sent this letter to you. And the fifth nobleman. He fell from a great height while reaching into a swallow's nest. He died from the fall. Yes, Grandpa. Let's go. I have learned that a very beautiful woman lives in my kingdom. Do you know her? You mean the really gorgeous Princess Kangya? Yes, I want to meet her. Where can I see her? She lives with her own parents in the bamboo forest. Take me there. I want to meet her. Look over there. That's the gorgeous Princess Kangya. Amazing. She is really beautiful indeed. And Paloma Mikado falls in love with Princess Kangya. It's what first at first sight. Who are you? He is Emperor Mikado. He here to. I want to marry you. Will you be my queen? I'm sorry. I can't marry you. I can't go with you. If you become my queen, I will take care of you and your parents. I promise that you will be very happy. I'm not from here. I don't belong to this place. Soon I will leave this place. What do you mean? I want all of you to leave. Emperor Mikado tried again and again to get Kangoya to marry him, but he did not force Kangoya to marry him. And Kangoya also loved Mikado. She never asked him for any treasures. That summer, Kangoya looked at the moon, and she knows her time has moved here. She will be sad. She will soon leave behind her parents and Emperor Mikado. What's the problem, Kangoya? Why are you always crying when you look at the moon? Are you alright, sweetie? What is worrying you? Tell us so we can help you. I'm not from Earth. <laughs> oh, sweetie. Are you kidding it's me? No, Grandma. I am a moon princess. Moon princess? And the reason that I am crying is that I have learned to love you, my parents. <gasps> really? In the next full moon, I will return to the moon. When Janpa and Grandma heard no. this sad news, no. no. they were no. really sad. No. They don't want to let go of their daughter, no. Kamoya. No. No, Kamoya. When the full moon come, a moon angel come to get Princess Ngoya. So she begged the angel to give her one last goodbye to Grandpa and Grandma, and she giving them some gifts and letters. Moon Angel, can I say goodbye to my parents and my friends? Of course, you can. Oh yeah. 
No. Thank you for everything. Thank you for loving me and protect me. As a token of my no. love, I'll give you this coast. Oh my God. Princess Maria also rides a little four in the long cardo and attaches with an eraser of evil charity. And they skip a little for the part of the scene. The moon angel poet Kamoya will feature to be an erase of Kamoya's early memories. They go back to the moon leaving her parents in tears. The guard officer returns to Emperor Mikado and leaves but everything about Princess Kanguya. Which mountain is closest to heaven? The great mountain on Saluga province. God, climb to the summit of the great mountain of Saluga and burn this letter there. I hope the smoke will reach the moon princess. Great Emperor, why do you want to keep the love letter and potion of immortality from Princess Kanguya? I want to send a message of my love to the moon princess. Throw the smoke from the letter. I don't live forever without my beloved. It's meaningless to live forever without her. <laughs> ทับหนึ่งนะครับมอสีทับหนึ่งแสดงได้ประทับใจมากนะครับ